So as a photographer or cinematographer, or just anybody you know using a camera, whether for photo or video, uh, there's a couple of basic rules that you just have to know and you have to follow. Um, the first one is you have to take the lens cap off your camera. If you don't do that, it doesn't work, right? So no, I did not make that mistake, but I did make the number two uh, cardinal sin mistake, if you will, and that is not having enough battery power to use your camera. So I actually decided to start shooting and my camera had 5% uh, juice left. So I got maybe 30 seconds in and it turned off and uh, yeah, rookie mistake on my part. So it is what it is. Um, with that being said though, I did get my life together and I have a brand new fresh fully charged battery in the A7R4. So uh, we are now good to go and I can uh, stop making rookie mistakes. Anyway, um, if you haven't seen this channel before, thank you for uh, joining us. Uh, my name is Demir. I, uh, this is Fifth North, which is my photography company. And what I do basically is I make videos around photography, video, um, just my photography journey overall, reviews, tips, all that kind of good stuff. So anyway, if you're new to the channel, uh, thank you for joining us. If you are a repeat customer, if you will, or a repeat viewer, uh, I definitely appreciate you coming back. So anyway, with that being said, today uh, we're going to do another review. I am going to be reviewing the uh, Hex brand. Uh, this is the Ranger Camo uh, DSLR slash mirrorless sling. This is the version 2. So um, what I'll probably do is kind of randomly show you a few things that I, um, that I like about the product, a couple of things that maybe I don't like, and then I'll give you an overall recommendation on, on what I think. But uh, the first question you're probably asking, and I'll go ahead and set it down for now, is, you know, Demir, you did a great video on the uh, current photo backpack that you're using. If you haven't had a chance to check that out yet, I'll go ahead and link it up right here for you. And you might be asking yourself, why do you need another photo backpack or sling if you have a photo backpack? Well, um, good question. One, photo backpacks, I think, are one of those things that uh, most photographers will tell you are a problem because you just buy them and buy them and buy them and there's that, right? Um, which I did mention in my other video that I'm trying to not do. So I've been successful so far in the sense that that camera backpack has been fantastic and I love it. But it is my all gear, going on a full shoot, traveling, doing a big production, if you will, a full on photo day where I need, uh, you know, extra lenses, extra this, extra that, the whole works, right? which is great. Uh, I love that backpack because it just has all my stuff in it. The downside is um, that backpack literally will break your back after you know a couple hours because gear is heavy and there's so much stuff in it. So there's times I just don't want to carry all my gear. You know, If I'm going to do a quick photo shoot or I'm going to go you know, do street photography, I don't necessarily need um, my tripod. I don't necessarily need my you know, 70 to 200 lens. I might not need all my filters. I might not need um, you know, whatever. There's some gear that you just don't need. And so sometimes I want to pack light, be very agile and very on the go. And that's where uh, another backpack or sling was needed. So, you know, I kind of looked around, I kind of browsed around and I think it was one of those creepy times when you're thinking something and then all of a sudden um, your social media starts spamming you with commercials for it, which I think is kind of weird that happens because, you know, I, I kind of get it if... Uh, if I would have said something and the microphone on the phone picked it up and, you know, um, shared my information with Instagram, for example, but I didn't say anything. I just kind of thought it and there it was. Anyway, long story short, uh, a couple of ads popped up, one of which was for the Hex, uh, for the uh, Sling version two. And so I kind of checked it out. And what I liked about it initially was it wasn't a backpack. It was kind of a Sling, which I've been wanting to try for a while. Um, it looked very small. And then two, uh, it was the perfect size to fit maybe a camera, one or two lenses, and some accessories, and that's it. And so at first, I wasn't expecting a whole lot. I was thinking it was going to be pretty limited in terms of pockets, space, all that kind of stuff. Um, but I would have been happy with it because it would have let me travel light and keep it pretty simple. So that was kind of the thought process there um, on why I needed an additional thing and why I chose this particular uh, sling. Now, they do make another version of this. Um, let me rephrase that, another model, because version version 1, version 2 is just them upgrading features. Uh, another model, which is going to be the Sling Mini. Uh, initially, I thought about getting the Sling Mini, but then 
Um, after looking at the measurements and reading some of the reviews, the Mini is like mini, mini. Like I can't carry even half the stuff that I need. So be careful with that, right? Because when you first look at the photos and the reviews, you might be in or the description of the reviews, you might be inclined to think the Mini is the right size for you. But turns out for me, the regular sling was the way to go. Um, I didn't look at their backpacks or anything because, again, I already have a backpack, but the sling was what I was interested in. So anyway, now that I've explained that whole background and why you know, I went this route, let's go ahead and dive into the actual uh, sling and uh, let's look at some of the features. I feel like whenever I'm recording, I just have like a gajillion eyelashes that go into my eye. It's like the weirdest thing. I'm just sitting here like shitting eyelashes, which, I don't know, Murphy's Law or there's like a... There has to be like a version of Murphy's Law that's related just to filming. Anyway, um, back to the purpose of this video. So I'll go ahead and block my face here for a second. This is the version two sling. Um, you know what? In fact, why don't we why don't we switch to an overhead view? And you guys get a better idea of what it looks like. So hang tight. Let's switch over. All right. So let's go ahead and start with the front of the sling. Uh, a couple of things to note. One, you've got the company's logo. It talks about a couple of different numbers on there, a little bit of information. Um, the actual design itself, I do like the color. They call this the Ranger camo. They also have just a pure black and they have a, a glacier camo. Uh, the traditional camo is my favorite, so that's why I went this route. Um, if I am being nitpicky though, I would say one complaint is I wish there were more color options other than just two camos and a black, I think. Um, they could possibly sell a lot more products if Hex made other colors. But again, that's just nitpicky because I am happy with the color uh, of this particular sling. With that being said, very first pocket, nice and good zipper. Um, also kind of cool, the, the brand is Hex and uh, all their zippers have little like Hex holes. So it's kind of cool that it matches. Anyway, um, inside of this first pocket, you guys can see is uh, a black uh, faux fur if you will it is extremely soft I mean like um, if I could get a blanket made out of this I would uh, I would sleep forever so very very soft material I'll go ahead and put my hand inside so you guys can see just how deep this pocket goes uh, all the way to here so pretty deep pocket uh, pull my hand out great pocket for um, phones uh, sunglasses, anything else that needs to be soft. What I like about it is some phones are big. So for example, my uh, iPhone uh, Pro uh, Pro Max 12, Pro 12 Max, yeah, anyway. Um, big phone, but it fits with about a hand width um, left over. So you know, a lot of the smaller slings and bags, I worry about my phone being too big that it's, you know, being that it's a Pro Max not fitting, not the problem here. So I do like that quite a bit. Um, go ahead and zip that back up. Moving on from there, if we flip it to the top, uh, you've got the top view here. Um, what I like about the top is you've got one large opening and inside this large opening, let me angle that for you so you can see it. Um, you've got the main compartment, which uh, the main compartment is great. Um, because it has just enough room, in my opinion, for a Sony a7R4, um, a 24 to 70 millimeter lens attached, and then typically I can also fit my uh, 24 uh, f1.4 lens next to it. So I do like it for that reason. Uh, it helps me again carry my primary video lens slash portrait lens, which is my 24, and then my primary <clears throat> overall use lens, which is my 24 to 70. So I will say this though, when I have my small rigs uh, extender attachment for like the pinky and all that, plus my L bracket, my camera body doesn't really fit. So, um, you know, keep the attachments to a minimum. Again, though, if you're trying to run slim and low profile, you don't want too many attachments. So keep that slim and, and low profile. Um, my only other nitpick with this uh, sling is the dividers. Um, they're great, but I wish more came with the bag so I could really customize it even further. Um, moving on from there, I'll go ahead and flip it around so you can see it even better. Um, this is the lid piece. Uh, on the lid, on the inside, you've got a mesh uh, pocket which can hold accessories, which is great. Um, in here, I would put maybe um, some longer cables, 
uh, straps, you know, that kind of stuff I, I'll keep in there. And then on the front side, flip it back around, right behind the phone holder area, you've got another pocket. Let me get that unzipped. <clears throat> and um, this pocket is going to be the main, uh, the main accessory pocket, which um, it's really well organized. Um, kind of hard to see because the the opening is not that big, but um, it's got a little mesh pocket in the bottom, which you can kind of see there. Each section has a divider, which helps me divide um, filters, extra batteries cables, all that kind of stuff, and then there's another divider for even more gear. Um, you'd be pretty surprised just how much gear can fit in here. Oh, and then also a ring for, um, you know, keys or, um, mem you know, USB flash drives, whatever you want to stick to it is there. Um, but yeah, you'd be surprised how much stuff can fit in here. Um, I can fit, you know, three or four filters, three or four batteries, extra memory cards, um, all my cables for like my phone, my laptop, all that kind of stuff all can fit in here. So it's actually surprising how much can fit. So I do like that quite a bit. I'll go ahead and zip that up uh, now that we're done with that. Uh, going over to the back side, so flipping it all the way around. Get the strap out of the way here. Um, so on the back side, you've got a couple of things going on. You've got a handle, which pretty sturdy, pretty tough. I appreciate it because sometimes you just want to grab the sling, it's just there for that reason. You've got another zip pocket, um, again, filled with that uh, faux fur that's like super mega soft. I'm just gonna put my hands in here and uh, yeah. Anyway, super soft, um, pretty large pocket. Actually, you can see uh, my entire hands basically disappear in it. And this will be good for like a, you know, like maybe like a small tablet, like a, an iPad mini or something of the equivalent sort or just other gear you might need but fits in pretty nicely there which is good and I'll go ahead and zip that back up. Now a couple of extra features that I really like on this if we're still sticking with the back underneath the handle you'll notice there's uh, a little pocket it is velcro strapped and once you undo the velcro there is a rain fly inside the sling. I'm not gonna pull it out because I have it nice and tucked and it takes a little bit of time to get it nice and perfect. I might have already messed it up, to be honest. Um, but the rainfly is great because this particular material is not super water resistant or <clears throat> by any means waterproof. And uh, having that rainfly in case I get caught in, um, <clears throat> you know, a downpour, excuse me, especially living out here in, in the Pacific Northwest where it can just randomly rain at any given time, having that cover really. Uh, Gives me kind of some peace of mind with my equipment. Um, a couple other things that are really nice, the, the uh, actual strap itself, really adjustable when it comes to length, a really nice, uh, really nice padded piece when it comes to being on your shoulder and then a very easily detachable clip letting you separate the two pieces, which is quite convenient. A um, couple of hidden compartments which I think is really cool. Inside the uh, strap, one on this side and one on on this side, is there actually Velcro. Let me see if I can give you guys a better angle of that. So they're actually Velcro and it opens up into a secret uh, pocket. I don't know how to give that a better angle than I'm giving you here. There we go. Um, a secret pocket that can hold a couple of little things. Um, I've used it for memory cards in the past. I've used it for a folded up microfiber cloth. All sorts of little gizmos and gadgets can fit in there or even like cash if you just wanna have an extra like, I don't know, $20 in there in case you need it. Whatever the case might be. Um, you've got one on each side which is uh, super cool. Um, last two bits before uh, we move on from those bits. Uh, on the bottom, you've got straps, which are great in my opinion because you can actually slide your tripod through the straps and that'll help you carry your tripod. Or what I use it more often for is if it's like a potentially a rainy day, but it's not raining, I'll take like my rain jacket and I'll slide it through here. That way I can carry it with me. The straps are adjustable so you can make it tighter or looser depending on what you're carrying. 
So good for like a jacket or good for a tripod, which is really useful. On the sides, you also have these straps. Um, I don't know if you guys can see those. Let me bring it down a little bit. Um, the side straps, as you can see here, they're used to basically tighten the shape of the sling. So once you fully load it up, if it gets a little bit bloated, you can use the side straps to kind of make it more uh, boxy and put together, which I appreciate because sometimes things are a little bulky, if you will. So I do love the side straps. Um, I have also clipped random stuff to them with like a, a carabiner or something like that, maybe like a water bottle or whatever. So pretty useful as well. Um, and then the last thing too is these are actually really easily packed or packable. So for example, if you're traveling and you're not going to use it right away, the, uh, the dividers on the inside, they come out, they fold flat, and the bottom base, I don't know if you guys can see that, the bottom base piece here will fold up, allowing the entire sling to basically fold flat. And when it folds flat, you can just drop it into your, um, into your carry-on luggage or wherever you know your other stuff is stored, or into your main photo backpack. Um, and you can just use it you know, later on when you get somewhere and you don't need all your gear. So again, super convenient because it folds down. Lots of great uh, pockets, lots of great features. Um, so far it's served me really well. I've been very pleased with it. Uh, a couple of small complaints like I mentioned. I kind of wish there were more color options. Is that a deal breaker? No, just something, something that I'm like would be cool. Um, I wish it had a couple more dividers. Um, again, they're all just kind of Velcro like most dividers are. I just wish there were maybe like one or two more. I know you can buy more on their website, but I feel like it wouldn't be too difficult to throw in maybe just one extra one. And then the last thing that really kind of irks me, if you will, and this is not necessarily um, a Hex brand thing. I just, I feel like all the companies do it. I feel like maybe, maybe Apple was the one that started it, but I find it super annoying when companies put things like designed in the USA or like Apple will put, you know, designed by Apple in California. Well, we all know you didn't make it in the USA. It's probably, you know, uh, China or Vietnam or Taiwan or some other country, which, you know, there's nothing wrong with products that are made overseas. I think there's a lot of great manufacturing overseas. I just feel like it's kind of, I guess the YouTube equivalent, it's kind of clickbaity, if you will, because it's like design the USA to make you feel like it's a US product when that's only partially true, I guess. So, I, you know, I just, when I see people do that, I'm always like, eh, I could have gone without it. But again, that's just a personal nitpick. It has nothing to do with the product as a whole. Um, overall, the badge being there doesn't bother me as far as like a visual. I just, when I read it, I was like, oh, that's kind of random. Um, but yeah, so anyway, overall, great sling, like I said, um, fits a lot of great stuff in it. Uh, in fact, I'm going to go ahead and cut to this photo right here. This is a comparison from uh, Hex's website on what they say the um, the Sling version 2, which is what I have here, and the Mini Sling can fit. Um, pretty accurate. Uh, my gear is very similar to what they have in this photo. So like I said, uh, Sony A7R4 body, as long as I don't have all my extra L-bracket attachments, 24 to 70 millimeter uh, lens attached. 24 millimeter f1.4 g master separate and then um, cables extra batteries filters phone tablet uh, i can attach a tripod if i want to all that good stuff fits right in i try not to get too many things in it because that kind of defeats the purpose of it being light and on the go but it's good to know that it's capable if i need it all right so let's go ahead and cut back to the uh, non over head view to, uh, to wrap this bad boy up. So that's it for the uh, uh, Hex brand uh, Ranger Camo uh, Sling version two. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully it answers some of the questions that you might have had. Uh, overall, I really do like it. I think it's a great, um, a great setup for what I need as far as having that on the go, smaller, slimmer profile. Uh, I think at the $99 price point, it's fairly priced, um, and, and again, you know, there's a lot of coupon codes out there. I know a lot of times, Hex has like promotions uh, if you sign up for their mailing list, whatever. So, I, I think at $99, it's a good price. If you can get that additional, you know, 10, 15, 20 percent, whatever they have going on, it's an even better value. So again, uh, I do highly recommend it. Um, definitely check it out and. Uh, 
that's it for this week's video. Uh, again, if you're new to the channel, hopefully I'll see you again next week. I do release videos like this once a week. I also have two other segments that I do on the, sh on the uh, channel. I keep wanting to say show. I don't know why I, I, that's like in my head as a show. Like I'm over here like, welcome to late night with, you know, anyway. Um, so thanks, thanks again for watching. Uh, definitely leave comments below if you have any questions. I'm more than happy to answer them. Otherwise, have a great night and uh, I'll see you all next week. Peace. <laughs>